Professor of Family Medicine Akintayo Olaoloro has advocated concerted efforts of stakeholders against drink driving, which he believes is responsible for high rates of road accidents in Nigeria. Rafi Hamid has the details in this report. Driving under influence is a road safety commission act that makes it illegal for anyone to drive a vehicle under the influence of alcohol or any other substance that impairs one's ability to drive safely. Penalties ranging from fines, imprisonment, driver's license revocation, vehicle impoundment, among others, are attached to this crime. But this, as witnessed, are set back due to poor enforcement. At this inaugural lecture in Iwo, a professor of family medicine, Akintayo Laolong, says drunk driving was responsible for over 70% of vehicular casualties in the country and calls for a total ban of alcohol trading in the motor parks. Over 70% of our drivers drink and drive. So we must all rise up against this, as you know, as you may know. Alcohol is sold, for example, in motor parks. I guess that is the first step to take to ban that from happening, because if it's not easily available to them, they would not con consume it before getting in behind a wheel. And that's, that's the way to go. The medical expert also encouraged Nigerians to know their blood pressure status to mitigate the privilege of hypertension in the country, just as he expressed displeasure about the increasing number of people suffering from mental illness in the country, which he put at 50 million. Blood pressure is silent, but it's a killer when it's too high. So it's good for everyone to monitor it constantly once you are above the age of 18, so that if it's high, you can do something to bring it down to normal. As far as mental health is concerned, it's a major part of our health that we need to take care of. And basically, the best way to do it is to relax always. Now, despite that, there will be mental illnesses. Um, there have been promises, there have been nice things we have had, but as at now, there's nothing yet. You know, there was a time the Senate Assembly made rules that say, okay, medical doctors will not be allowed to travel out of the country after training and the likes. But I've not seen anything really in action. Report has it that over 16,000 health workers have departed Nigeria in the last five years, and the inaugural lecturer and the inaugural lecturer wants support for institutions in the training of more medical professionals. Rafael Hamid, TVC News, Iwo, Ocean State.